this video is all about why I don't think AI will ever replace the product designer. You see, the thing is, AI does some things really well, much better than a product designer could ever do. But there's other things that AI can't do at all. And you'll see various examples in this video where I've tried to get AI to do things like design innovative mechanisms, and it just completely fails. If you're a product designer, or if you're a business founder or entrepreneur with a new idea, then this video is for you, because it's gonna show you how AI can be included within your process, but also what value the product designer adds that AI can't replace. My name's Phil, I've run a design agency for 12 years, so why won't AI replace humans? AI can't show empathy, it can't have perception at the moment, it doesn't come up with ingenious new solutions, and it can't create new patentable subject matter that can then be protected so that they can ensure their product isn't just copied by other people on the market as soon as it's launched. So I think there's a whole load of value there that a product designer adds that AI can't replace. If you give AI a really clear set of criteria, then it can churn out a better result than a product designer will. For example, let's say you wanted to design a new lightweight, cost-effective partition for use on an aircraft. You could put into AI all the specific requirements and dimensions, you could tie that brief right down, and AI would create create new concept solutions, it would test and evaluate and learn from that and then iterate out better solutions in terms of lower material usage so that the product was lighter weight and more cost effective. And AI could do that far more rapidly and far more cost effectively than a product designer could. And AI is great for that type of thing. But you see, that's one of the limitations. You have to give it very specific defined criteria. And often with a project, the design brief evolves during the project and your design team will often see new ways of doing things, new things that can be brought in, or it might see ways that what you're doing already can be expanded to create a product range. And as a result, the brief evolves over time. Now you're always gonna need, in my opinion, a human product designer that can do that to evolve that design brief. Even if AI can do that, it still needs a brief to start from and in my experience creating the brief and the right brief is actually something that is best done by a human who has empathy who can understand the end user and their emotions around the product and can put all of that together take some critical decisions as part of that and then create that defined brief. Now before we go on to the next thing that AI just can't do that a human product designer can do, please just take a moment, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon and make sure you get notified for all the new video content that we're launching. Now one of the main things I can't see AI ever replacing a product designer for is the early stage concept work on a new project. If you're trying to develop a product that has a USP, that has new functionality, that you can eventually get some kind of IP protection on, then you're going to have to think very creatively and come up with lots of new ideas or your design team's going to have to and I can't see a computer replacing that. For example I tried to get AI to produce new concepts for a strap tightening system for a harness. This is a project that we worked on. We started it about 18 months ago. And as you can see, AI just produces a range of different pretty images, but none of them have any practical value in terms of functional product design. By contrast, this is what we came up with as a design team that worked functionally and effectively and tightened all four straps on a harness at the same time. We went on to get a patent for our client on this concept, but AI just can't do that. It can't come up with a brand new way of doing things. Now maybe you think that's too complex a concept, so I picked a rucksack for home economics in school, another project that we worked on, and as you can see, AI again, it just can't come up with a solution for that. All it's really done is put pictures of different food items on the outside of a bag. Now I tried again, and you can see in these images it's got a little bit further in terms of the compartments, but it isn't able to do its work work out what compartments are actually necessary, what food items a child is likely to be taking to school, and all those kind of practical, functional elements that a product designer will bring to a project. This is the outcome that we came up with, and as you can see, it's much more tangible in terms of its function. It's something that actually is gonna do the job. Before we go on to the next thing that AI just can't do, a quick word from our sponsors.
empathy is one of those big things that I just don't think AI is going to be able to recreate. And over the years as a designer, I've worked on hundreds of projects along with my team. I'm understanding that consumers actually buy products not on a rational basis, but on an emotional basis. It's how they feel about the product and it's how they feel about the brand. And I can't see AI being able to replace a product designer and their empathy and their ability to build a product that generates a feeling in a customer and design a brand that develops a feeling and emotional response in a customer. Now, what will be quite interesting is when AI integrates maybe with some new market research tools that actually it can send out a variety of different concepts, get a whole load of responses back from real human beings, analyze that data very quickly and iterate and produce new concepts. Well, that could be quite interesting at that stage, but currently I'm unaware of anything that exists that does that. Now, maybe I'm wrong. You know, this is new technology. No one's got all the answers on this. If you know of a tool that does that, or if you disagree with anything else that I say in this video, please do comment below. It would be great to get a conversation started on this. I'd love to hear how other designers are using AI within their process already. So please stick that down in the comments as well. Now, I think designers who are feeling threatened by AI shouldn't be. I do think AI is going to replace a lot of the photorealistic rendering that designers previously maybe have spent quite a bit of time doing. I do think AI is going to replace some of the early stage styling direction work, but I don't think there's much else in the overall design process is going to replace. I think designers really need to stop worrying about that and think more about how you can use AI to develop better products. I think it's critical that designers don't think of AI as some kind of replacement for their skill set, but instead look at how they can integrate it within their process to improve their output. And that's what my next video is all about. It's the three ways for integrating AI to augment the skills of our design team and develop better products for the end user and for our clients. So make sure you watch that video straight away.